Hey everyone, so this video has been requested by lots of people and in this video I'm going to be going over tips that should help you improve like very quickly and consistently as well in ninja.io and these tips are things that I try and do myself as well. So I'm going to be going over three tips and honestly these tips are pretty important and like if you follow these, I genuinely believe you will notice an improvement in your skills, like especially if you're a newer player and you haven't really started to think about these things yet. So it should help you sort of like practice quicker, if um, that makes sense. Now, obviously, when you think of getting better at the game, you think of practicing and just, you know, getting more experience in general. But the thing is, some ways of practicing are more effective than others, and it's all about sort of like the mindset and method that you're using. At least that's how I look at it. So a lot of players don't use or don't know about the tips that I, as newer players I'm mostly talking about, but they don't use usually the tips that I'll be discussing in my video, and because of that, they improve much lower than they would have normally. So I'll be discussing these tips and um, you know why these sorts of tips and mindsets will help you improve quickly and how exactly they'll help you. Hopefully this video will help you learn to improve quicker and have more fun with the game. So without further delay, let's get into the video. Okay, so what I want to talk about first sounds simple, but it's really important and it can definitely be difficult to live up to. Um, so the first step is don't run away from pro players or difficult battles. Nobody wants to lose and everyone feels bad when they get demolished by another player. I get demolished sometimes, I know, it feels bad. But the thing is, if you don't actually face and overcome these players that are giving you trouble, you're not going to be able to surpass them. You need to sort of lose before you can win, and that's true for any sort of competitive game. Because you need, the, the, by playing against these types of players, they sort of highlight what you are missing and, you know, where you need to improve. And they give you an opportunity to improve because they themselves are sort of acting as an exemplar. So instead of running away from pros, play against them. And yes, you will probably lose. It takes a lot of losing before you can really start to, you know, get a good idea of how to play the game well. But the thing is, by taking these losses, you can start to understand, like I said earlier, sort of your own weaknesses. And, you know, you can see what other players are doing that you're missing and then adapt. Lots of players run from pros because they don't want to fight losing battles, and it's understandable why. It is. It is understandable. Like, I've been there, trust me. But if you want to take your skills to the next level, and, I mean, you need to face skilled opponents, even when you know you'll lose. Especially if you're a newer player, don't think about playing as playing to win. Think about it as playing to improve so that you can win in the future. It's sort of like, you know, an investment. But the thing is, you can't just, you know, mindlessly lose and not pay attention to everything. You need to actually focus and you need to sort of try and pay attention to why you're losing and reflect on your losses because that's how you're going to improve. So, you know, just try and like try and think about what you aren't doing and then try and do it in the next match and keep doing that until you, you know, you get better. You need to be sort of experimenting with things, improving and learning. Now, some players are worried about their KDRs, but the thing is, if you can't, um, if you can play against pros enough and learn to, you know, become a pro yourself, your KDR will sort of fix itself. Like if you um, improve your skills first, your KDR will follow. You don't, you don't need to worry about that. So, um, focus on improving your own skills, and your KDR will come along with it. It's not something you should be stressing over. It feels really bad to lose over and over, but after you're done fighting through all your losses and, you know, become a pro yourself, your wins are going to feel much more sweet and almost like they're earned, you know? The second tip I'm going to be talking about is setting self goals. Now, this is like really important. Like, I can't stress enough how important this is because like by setting self goals and targets for yourself, you're basically giving yourself like a benchmark for improvement and a way to watch and modify your growth like directly. And that's really important. So if you are not setting self goals for yourself, it's going to be very difficult to try and, you know, notice your um, improvement and quantify it. 
So this can come in many different forms depending on your personal preference. You can, you know, use the leaderboards or how many matches you win. But what I like to do is like sort of set like KDR standards for myself. Like I have like an acceptable KDR that I try and reach as a minimum every match. And, um, you know, I don't always meet it. And like we were saying in the first tip, you won't always meet your goals either, not instantly at least. And, you know, sometimes you're outmatched and, you know, you don't meet your goal. But you need to keep working towards it because consistency, effort, and, you know, having an open enough mind to spot where you need to improve are the key aspects of being good at this game. You, you know, you just need to get back up again and keep working towards your goals. And once you eventually reach them, set new goals. Um, but, you know, you need to set realistic but achievable goals for yourself and then set new goals and repeat. By doing this, you can make sure that you improve steadily and you can sort of watch and log your, improves, your improvement as you get closer to reaching your goal. This means um, that you, be like, you believe in yourself and your abilities to reach your goal, but you don't let it get to you when you do inevitably fail or don't meet your targets instantly. You know, it happens. Just get back up and keep trying until you do reach your target. You should always have a goal that you're working towards because you always have room for improvement. Everybody does. Don't get to the point where you're like, oh, I'm good enough and stop improving because then other players are going to surpass you and you're going to start losing again. You need to constantly be refining yourself and improving. Because no matter how good you are, you can always be better. And if you want to be really good at this game, that's the sort of mindset you need to keep. The third thing I want to talk about is something I see happening all the time. And it's about the topic of making excuses for yourself. So lots of times players will make excuses whenever they lose and say, Oh, I lost because of the other players spamming, the other players camping, or, you know, I lost because I'm just tired, etc. And, um, you know, something you might notice if you pay attention is that the best players in any, like, large and competitive online game, like in a skill-based game at least, usually don't make excuses for themselves. This is because when you're making excuses for your losses and trying to cover up the real reasons you lost, you obviously aren't paying attention to why you actually lost. If you lost because you need more practice with a RPG or with a barrette and you're saying, oh, it's because the other player was camping, it's going to be a lot harder to actually notice that you, know, you do need to improve your skill with a barrette and RPG and start working on that. So if you actually want to be truly good at any game, you need to swallow your pride. When you lose a match, don't whine about how things were unfair, somebody was camping, or you're tired, or, you know, make accusations that somebody's hacking. Like, instead, figure out what you could have done that would have let you win and improve. Change what you're doing. You need to sort of figure out what your weaknesses are before training yourself. But you won't ever be able to notice your own weaknesses if you cover them up with excuses. Be honest with your losses, especially to yourself. And at the same time, don't beat yourself up over your losses. You know, like, if you lost because you were just, like, outclassed by an opponent, like, don't let it, don't let it get to you. Like, recognize why you lost. Recognize, yes, the other player is better than you, but don't stress over it. You know, just um, take it as a learning experience and use it to get better. Like, that's the thing, is you need to be honest about your defeats, but at the same time, you know, don't let them get to you. Remember, it's a game, and you, you especially as a newer player, you need to play to improve and not to win. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to win, at least in competitive lobbies. And, you know, if you have this sort of mindset of, you know, constant growth and practice enough, you'll find it much easier to improve your skills and become a better player. So to sort of like summarize like this entire, I guess, uh, I don't know, video segment, like the first step is don't run away from your battles or stress about your KDR. The second tip is to set self goals when you play. And the third tip is not to make excuses for your losses. Now, if you weren't doing these things before and you start doing these things now, I do believe that you will notice an improvement in how quickly you can get new skills and in how quickly you can practice. Like, if you really think about it, the difference between a pro player and a new player just comes down to 
it's not just experience because the thing is you can play for a long time but be playing wrong or be playing poorly and you're not really going to improve as quickly as someone who's playing properly it comes down to two things not one the difference between a, a pro player and a new player is experience and mindset those are the two key things in my opinion because skill comes from if you have the right mindset and you have the experience skill will follow you know it's it's sort of just about looking at things with an improvement type of mindset and i don't know yeah hopefully like a lot of people were asking me to make this video and i think that's the most important thing you can take away from this to sort of help yourself get better so hopefully this sort of helps and um is a good response i guess to what people were asking me so uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.